the air. Hamilton and Thompson were in the tip. Thompson gets the tip, but he was out of bounds. It was taken out by Centerville at midcourt, across the floor. Cambridge in the, in the red suit today. There's a long shot from way out by Bud Wetzel. It's so good, taken off underneath by Ellsbury. Ron Ellsbury clears it out to Swiger. Swiger is run into by Johnny Cox. There's the first personal foul called in the ball game against Centerville. John Cox will send to the line. Bill Swiger for the Wampus Cats. We're on our way. Swigert has a chance here to make the first point in this ball game. 7.42 left in the first period. Here's Bill Swigert's left-handed shot. It's good. Bill Swigert putting the Wampus Cats ahead by one point now as Centerville comes down in the scoring zone. Here's Bud Wetzel with the ball. Pass the left to Darrell Rensler. The boy only has to score eight points tonight to break the record. Here's Johnny Cox with a shot out of the right side. It's short off the mark. No good. Coming in for the ball and taking it off, Wayne Montgomery. The three on one, three on two. Montgomery takes the shot, it's in and out, no good. Taken off by Thompson, and a foul call. Bud Wetzel. Bud Wetzel commits his first personal foul. There have been two fouls called against Centerville, none so far against the Wampus Cats. Jerry Thompson will toe the mark for one shot. Here he is. One to nothing in favor of Cambridge City. Now two to nothing. Cambridge City out in front, 2 to nothing over the Centerville Bulldogs. We have 7 minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first period. Here's Bud Wetzel now for Centerville. Takes a shot from behind the foul circle. Off the rim, no good. Take it off by Rensler. Stolen away from Rensler. Knocked out of bounds on the far side by Newhouse. Bill Newhouse knocks it out. Here's it is into Rensler for the shot on the left side. It's off the mark, no good. Take it off by Jerry Thompson. Jerry Thompson dribbles it out down the center now. Into the scoring zone for Cambridge City Wampus Cats. Passes back to Bill Newhouse, right in front of us now. Ron Ellsbury back to Newhouse, halfway down to Dwayne Montgomery on the right-hand side. Ellsbury with the ball now to Newhouse, the left-hand side to Jerry Thompson, has to pass it back out to Newhouse. Newhouse is covered, gets it off to Ellsbury. Ellsbury has to pass back to Newhouse. The guards working the ball around, trying to move it in here. Centerville on somewhat of his own defense, their guards collapsing back. There's Wayne Montgomery now with the ball. Passes on down the right-hand corner. Third back out to Ellsbury. And Jerry Thompson playing out on the floor now with the ball. As Cambridge is going to try to control this ball for the good shot. There's Jerry Thompson now dribbling the ball. He's going over to the center line. Picked up there by Wetzel. Wetzel goes underneath. Shoots the shot in. Good. And he was fouled. Jerry Thompson fouling. Jerry Thompson committing the first personal against the Wampus Cats. What happened that time was Thompson started dribble, kicked the ball across the foul, across the 10 second line. He decided he wouldn't pick it up, and as he did, Bud Wetzel picked that ball up, drove under and scored, tying the game up with a chance to break the tie. He does. 3 to 2 now, Centerville scoring this time, getting out in front by virtue of an error against the Wampus Cats. There's Newhouse now, to Ellsbury to the left hand side to Thompson. Thompson's pass back to Ellsbury to the right side now, to Newhouse. On him to the right side. It was Wayne Montgomery. Back out now to Ellsbury, who drives halfway to the baseline. Has to pass under to Swigert. Swigert gets the shot away. The left-handed shot is in and out. No good. Taken off by Darrell Renster. Renster clears it out now to Bud Wetzel. Wetzel and Centerville and company on the attack now. Cox to Wetzel. Wetzel gives the left-hand side. Gets the screen. Shoots the shot. It's off the mark. No good. Taken off by Newhouse. Bill Newhouse going high to get that ball. In the dribble now. We have five minutes and 35 seconds remaining in the first period. Centerville out in front by one, three to two over the Wampus Cats. Here's Newhouse now. Passes down halfway to Thompson. Thompson gives it to the baseline. He's covered up by Renter. Has to pass back out. The ball's deflected. Picked up finally by Bill Swigert. He shoots from the line. He's fouled. Fouled by Jim Good. Jim Good commits his first personal in the ball game. That's the third team foul against the Bulldogs. The Wampus Cats have one team foul. And Bill Swigert will have two shots from the line. A chance to tie it up and go ahead if he hits both of them. Bill Swigert, the left-handed shooter, here on the line now. He's a senior. His left-handed shot is good. Ties the ball game up, 3-3. Three to three. Has another shot now. He's fouled in the act of shooting. Five minutes and 20 seconds remain in the first period. Here's Bill Swigert's second shot. It's in the air. Rolls around off, no good. Dale Rensler goes way up to take it off. Clears it out to Johnny Cox. And here comes the Bulldogs again. Cox down into the scoring zone. The whistle go back to Cox. Into Dale Rensler with a turnaround jump shot. Off the mark short. Taken off there by Thompson. A nice guarding job done that time by Dwayne Montgomery on Rensler. And here we come with the Cambridge Wampus Cats. Newhouse down the right side is Dwayne Montgomery. Dwayne Montgomery moves out with the ball to Ellsbury now. Ron Ellsbury passes over to Jerry Thompson. It's good! Thompson hits from the left side. 
but he came down in front five to three now with 4.49 to go in the first period. There come the Bulldogs again now. Bud Wetzel with the ball. Loops it into Jim Good. The pass in the air. Good. Jim Good took that pass in the air. Did not come down and flipped it up. A nice pass and shoot that time. Five to five the score now. Four minutes and 34 seconds remain in the first period. And here come the Wampus Pets. Wayne Montgomery with the ball. Halfway on the right side. In the new house. Back out to Ellsbury. Ellsbury fake. Goes around his man. That's passed off to Swigert in the corner. There's Jerry Thompson. Turn around. Shot his foul. And Jim Good commits his second personal. Jimmy Good commits his second personal at the fourth team foul in the period against the Bulldogs. Wampus Cats have only committed one personal foul in the first period. We have the line now. Jerry Thompson on two shots. Here's the first one. Off the front of the rim. No good. Score remains five to five. Thompson has a chance to break the tie here with his second shot. Four minutes and 22 seconds remain in the first period. Here's Jerry Thompson's right hand. shot. It's good. Six to five now. Kane Mitch out in front of Centerville by one point. The lead zigzagging back and forth here as we have Centerville in the offensive zone now. The pass in to Jimmy Good. Jim Good wheels around, shoots it up off the front of the rim. No good. Wayne Montgomery recovers. Passes out to Ron Elsbury. He's on the fast break, but he's covered up. Covered up by Cox. Go down by Wessel. Pass back now. He's swagger over the left-hand corner to Thompson. He's shot it in the air short. No good. Take it off by Jim Good. Jim Good of the Bulldogs. Clears it to Rensler. Now to Bud Wessel. As Wessel brings it down across the timeline. Pass the left-hand side. The ball is deflected out of bounds by Newhouse. We'll go out to Centerville across the far side. Centerville going to our right and Team Rich to our left. Here we are in play now. Bud Wetzel with the ball. The dribble passes on in to Darrell Rensler. Rensler covered up there by Newhouse. Can't get a shot away. Gets it back to Rensler. Rensler shot is in the air. Good. Beautiful shot by Darrell Rensler out of left-hand corner. Putting Centerville out on top now by one. Seven to six with three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the first period. Bill Newhouse now with the ball. Down the right side to Dwayne Montgomery. On into Newhouse in the corner. Back to Ron Ellsbury. Ellsbury with the ball, back to Newhouse. They're playing on the right side of the floor right now. On into Bill Swigert. Swigert turns it on into Newhouse, into the corner, back out to Ron Ellsbury, behind the foul circle. He goes to the line, takes his shot. It's short, no good. Tipped up there and taken off by Jim Good. Jim Good with the ball is fouled. Fouled by Ron Ellsbury. His first personal foul, the second team foul against Cambridge City. They walk the length of the floor now. Jim Good will go to the line. Jim Good with the chance to increase the lead here to... Two points. The score is seven to six in favor of the Centerville Bulldogs over the Wampus Cats. Here's his right-handed shot from the line. Drop the front of the rim. No good. Taken off by Jerry Thompson. Jerry Thompson doing a magnificent job of rebounding. Passes down to Newhouse. Newhouse with the ball has to slow it down. Pass to Ellsbury right back to Jerry Thompson. Ellsbury to Newhouse the right side now. Wayne Montgomery with the ball on to Newhouse. Back then to to Ellsbury to Newhouse to Thompson behind the foul circle. Thompson gets the jump shot away from the left side. It's off the mark. No good. Tipped around and taken off by Bud Wessel. Wessel slows this play down. Wessel slows it up. Now brings it across the timeline. On the left-hand side, Centerville going to our right. The Wampus Cats to the left. Here's Daryl Wrencher with the ball. High scoring Daryl Wrencher with the ball. High over his head. Guarded by Bill Newhouse. Gets the dribble and passes down halfway to John Cox. Right back to Wrencher. Wrencher in the right corner. Loops it under Dwayne Hamilton. He turns around. Shoots off the mark. No good. Over the rim. Taken off by Jerry Thompson. Jerry Thompson in the dribble now. Brings it across the timeline on the left-hand side. Goes down off the jump shot. In the air. Good. Jerry Thompson putting the Wampus Cats ahead by one point. Eight to seven with two minutes and ten seconds remaining in the first period. Here's Bud Wessel now into the scoring zone for the Centerville Bulldogs. Loops it into John Cox with a shot out of the right-hand side. It's good. Johnny Cox hitting one from 17 feet in the right side. Nine to eight now. Centerville goes out by one point again. Back and forth the score goes. Here's Newhouse in the attack for the Wampus Cats. Jerry Thompson. Back to Ellsbury. Ellsbury on the right side to Dwayne Montgomery. Montgomery gets it off to Ellsbury. Ellsbury loses the ball, but then gets it off to Newhouse. Back into Dwayne Montgomery, who scores. Dwayne Montgomery putting one through, putting Cambridge out again now. In front by one. Ten to nine to score. Here's Bud Wetzel on the attack for Centerville. Fakes the shot. Passes off to Rensler. Rensler gets the screen up for the shot. It's off the rim. Barely no good. And a jump ball will be called. As coming off of that rebound was Johnny Cox for Centerville and Bill Schweigert for the Wampus Cats. They'll jump now at the Centerville free throw line. There's the tip taken by Daryl Rensler. Wide open, up for the shot, good. Daryl Rensler from just in front of the foul line. The score now is Centerville 11. The Wampus Cats 10. We have one minute and 18 seconds to go in the first period. Back and forth, the score keeps going. Here's Dwayne Montgomery now. Passes down to Newhouse. Back to Ellsbury. Ellsbury gets it off, then back to Newhouse. Newhouse in the dribble now behind the foul circle. Pass the right-hand side to Ronnie Ellsbury. On into Bill Swigert at the line. Swigert passes the nice one underneath. 
to Jerry Thompson, but Jerry couldn't control the ball. Jerry Thompson loses it out of bounds. Centerville in the attack now. 54 seconds to go in the first period. Here's Bud Wetzel holding up one finger to set up a play for the Centerville Bulldogs. They'll try to get the final shot, probably. Johnny Cox dribbles to the corner, hands off to Hamilton. Ball almost stolen by Newhouse. Wetzel with the ball. That's back out the race for 41 seconds. Centerville out in front by 11 to 10. Here's Johnny Cox on the shot from the corner. It's good! 13 to 10. That's the biggest lead either team has had now. Three points out in front of Centerville with 30 seconds to go. Ellsbury now on the attack of the Wampus Cats. On the right-hand side now, Jerry Thompson fell to the floor. Pass to Montgomery. Back to Ellsbury for the shot. It's good! Buddy Ellsbury, a sophomore hitting. But he came in only within one point behind now. 13 to 12, Centerville. 14 seconds to go. Here's Ronnie Wetzel. Or Bud Wetzel off to Daryl Ritzler. Ritzler gets the open shot. He's in the air. Good! Out behind the foul circle. Are these teams ever hitting? Four seconds to go. Centerville 15. Came by his 12. There's a long shot block by Wetzel. Wetzel blocks the shot attempted by Newhouse at the gun. The score is Centerville Bulldogs 15. Cambridge 12 will have a new quarter to go. The second quarter will begin in just a second. With timeout on the floor, here's a word from one of our sponsors. The quarter with the same lineup. The same boys are in the lineup who started the ball game. Hamilton of Centerville jumps against Thompson of Cambridge. Jump taken by Centerville. Wetzel has it. Wetzel brings it down across the 10-second line to Cox. Cox to Wetzel. Wetzel on the left-hand side of the fourth quarter. Over to Cox. John Cox back to Wetzel, who shoots from the left side. Way out. Good. Way out. Beyond the foul circle. Centerville 17. Cambridge 12. Cambridge on the attack. Ball brought across the 10-second line. Newhouse has it. Newhouse down the right-hand side. Comes dribbling in underneath. Tries to get a reverse layup away. Blocked by Retschler. Ball knocked into the hands of Wetzel. Wetzel is fouled by Newhouse. That is the first personal on Phil Newhouse in the ball game, and the third team personal called against Cambridge City. Centerville will be up at the line. Seven minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the second quarter of the ball game. Centerville 17, Cambridge City 12. Wetzel fires, good. 18 to 12. Centerville ahead by six. Cambridge on the attack, and now timeout for Cambridge City. Coleman, the Cambridge coach, wants to talk to his boys. Dwight Coleman talking to his boys, Henry Smith talking to Centerville. 7.28 left in the second quarter, Centerville ahead, 18 to 12. Rentschler has six points now. If he makes another basket from out on the floor, he will have set a new individual scoring record in the tourney with 100 points. He now has 98. Cambridge will put the ball into play. Newhouse passing in the backcourt, where it's taken by Ellsbury, back to Newhouse. Newhouse dribbles through the middle of the fourth quarter over to the right-hand side. Passing down to Montgomery. Montgomery to Swigert. Swigert back to Newhouse. Newhouse, middle of the fourth quarter. Over to the right-hand side to Swigert. Swigert looks for an open man. Back to Newhouse. Over to Swigert. Swigert in the corner to Montgomery. Montgomery comes dribbling out to Newhouse. Newhouse down the right-hand side to Montgomery, who shoots from the right of the keyhole short off the rim. No good. However, a foul on backing in was called on Jerry Thompson. Jerry Thompson of Cambridge called on his second personal foul, a backing up foul. Jim Good will be up at the foul line. Good, up there to shoot. Seven minutes, seven seconds left in the second quarter. Centerville 18, Cambridge 12. That was the fourth team foul on Cambridge, so the one and one will not yet apply. Good, goes the line. Right hand to one hander, hits the rim short, no good. Montgomery rebounds for Cambridge. In the backcourt to Swigert. Swigert brings it down across the 10 second line. Middle of four court to Newhouse. Newhouse dribbles over the left hand side, passing down to Ellsbury. Ellsbury back out to Newhouse to Ellsbury and New, Newhouse gets it middle of fourth court down the left hand side to Ellsbury in the corner to Swigert Swigert in the left hand corner fakes passing out to Newhouse Newhouse down the left hand side Swigert a one hander from the corner high no good rebound by Daryl Rentschler of Centerville Rentschler giving in the back court to Cox over to Wetzel Wetzel down across the 10 second line down the right hand side to Cox back to Wetzel Wetzel around the horn to the left gives to Rentschler Rentschler on the left hand side down the right hand side to Cox Cox dribbles over the left-hand side of the keyhole to Wetzel. Wetzel in the left-hand corner tries to pass underneath the Hamilton, but the ball hits the legs of Thompson. Goes out, Centerville taking it out. Wetzel to Cox, back to Wetzel. Wetzel halfway down the left-hand side, hits. Wetzel firing halfway down the left-hand side of the forecourt. Centerville 20, Cambridge 12. Six minutes, eight seconds left in the second quarter. Cambridge on the attack. Newhouse across the 10-second line, down the right-hand side of Montgomery. In the right-hand corner to Swiger. Swiger passing into Thompson. Thompson pivots from the right of the lane. Pivot shot around the rim and out. No good. He was halfway between the circle and the backboard when he shot. Hamilton rebounds for Centerville. A pass down to Good. Goes through Good and is picked up by Newhouse before it goes out. Newhouse of Cambridge down across the 10-second line. 
Newhouse over the left-hand side to Swigert. Swigert in the left-hand corner, covered up by Rester and Wetzel. Gets the pass out to Thompson. Thompson down underneath to Ellsbury, who weighs it up good. Ellsbury. Ellsbury laying it up. If he got that pass right underneath, 20 to 14. Now a full-court press started by Cambridge against Centerville. Full-court press put on by Cambridge. Rester has trouble. Finally gets it away to Wetzel. Wetzel dribbles down the left-hand side in the corner to Hamilton. He fires from the corner. Away is short. No good. Ball taken by Thompson of Cambridge, given in the backcourt to Newhouse. Newhouse down across the 10-second line. Newhouse, middle of the forecourt with it. Over the left-hand side to Ellsbury. Back to Newhouse. The right-hand side to Montgomery. In the right-hand corner of the forecourt to Swigert. Swigert tries to pass in. The pass deflected. Taken out of the air by Wetzel. Wetzel of Centerville brings it down the backcourt. Across the 10-second line. Middle of the forecourt. Down the right-hand side to Cox. He jumps to the right-hand corner. Good. Johnny Cox, hotter than a pistol from the corners. Hitting from the right-hand corner deep. 22 to 14, Centerville ahead by eight. Cambridge on the attack. Four minutes, 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Down the right-hand side to Swigert. Back out to Newhouse. The left of the keyhole to Ellsbury. Ellsbury, middle of the forecourt to Newhouse. In the left-hand corner to Montgomery. A one-hander, good. Dwayne Montgomery hitting from the left-hand corner. 22 to 16, Centerville ahead. Wetzel across the 10-second line for Centerville to Rentschler. Back to Wetzel. Wetzel around the horn to the left. Loses the ball, but it's picked up by Rentschler. Rentschler dribbles, shoots from the left-hand corner. Good. Rentschler setting a new record. Rentschler hitting from the left-hand corner of the fourth court, setting a new individual record, and Cambridge City takes timeout. The score, Centerville 24, Cambridge City 16. Four minutes, nine seconds left in the second quarter. Centerville leading 24 to 16. Darrell Rentschler has set a new individual scoring mark. He now has 100 points in tournament play. So every point he makes from now on will set a new record. Newhouse across the 10-second line for Cambridge to Montgomery. Down to Swigert. Swigert comes dribbling into the foul circle. Tries to pass. Ball knocked right out of his hands by Cox. Cox of Centerville giving to Wetzel. And Wetzel and Cox are playing a terrific ball game of guard for Centerville. Rentschler gets it. Shoots from beyond the keyhole. Good. Darrell Rentschler now has 102 points. Ball brought up by Cambridge across the 10-second line. Newhouse has it. Over to El. Back to Newhouse. Newhouse, middle of fourth court. Left-hand side to Ellsbury. Ellsbury through the keyhole. To Montgomery, who shoots to the right of the keyhole. Off the rim, no good. Swigert rebounds. Good. Swigert rebounding. Putting it up from right underneath. 26 to 18. Centerville 26, Cambridge 18. Again, the full court press put on by Cambridge. Cox brings it, gives to Rentschler. Rentschler up the back court around Newhouse. Rentschler on the right-hand side. Over to Wetzel in the middle of the court now. Wetzel has it, standing there at the center circle. Over the right-hand side of the forecourt to Cox. Three minutes, five seconds left in the second quarter. Cox around the horn to the left. Shoots from the left of the curtain circle. Short, no good. Rebound taken off by Thompson. Thompson of Cambridge, high on the board. In the backcourt to Swigert. Swigert across the 10-second line. Down the left-hand side to Ellsbury. Out to Newhouse. Left-hand side to Ellsbury. In the corner to Swigert. Swigert dribbles. Passing off to Thompson, who shoots from the left-hand corner. Rolls around the rim and out. No good. Rebound taken by Thompson. Good. Thompson getting that rebound. Centerville boy tried to bat it back in before it went out. He batted it right into the hands of Thompson, who put it up and in. 26 to 20. Centerville ahead by six. Cambridge coming back. A Centerville pass from Cox to Rentschler goes wide. However, it's deflected by Thompson as it goes out. The ball will go out to Centerville. Centerville taking it out of their forecourt. Hamilton passing in to Wetzel. Wetzel dribbles, gives to Rentschler, who pivots. From on the line, the hook shot off the rim. No good. Rebound by Swigert. Swigert down to Ellsbury. Ellsbury dribbles all the way down for a layup. Nice fake. Puts it in. Good. He faked John Cox out of position. And then this sophomore put up a beautiful layup there as he faked his man and scored. 26 to 22. And as Wetzel brings the ball up, the ball is knocked out. Wetzel touches it as it goes out. It'll go out to Cambridge. Ellsbury passing in to Newhouse. Newhouse into Thompson. Back to Ellsbury in the corner to Spiger. A one-hander from the corner. High, no good. Rebound underneath by Thompson is blocked, no good. And a foul is called on Rentschler. Darrell Rentschler of Centerville draws his first personal foul in the ball game. Number one on Rentschler. One minute, 41 seconds left in the second quarter. Centerville 26, Cambridge 22, and Jerry Thompson will be at the line. That is the fifth team foul on Centerville. Consequently, if he had the one-on-one, he would have a bonus shot. However, he has a two-shot foul anyway, being in the act of shooting. Thompson's first shot, short, hits the rim, comes off. No good. Thompson disgustedly walks out of the foul circle back to the center circle. Now he gets back up to the foul line, ready for his second attempt on a two-shot foul. 
Rolls around down in. Good. 26 to 23. Centerville's lead has been cut to three points. Centerville ahead by three. Rensselaer on the left-hand side of the fourth court. Looks for an open man. Dribbles down the left-hand side. As he starts to dribble, a foul is called on Thompson. Personal number three, Jerry Thompson. Highest scoring forward of Cambridge draws his third personal foul. And that is the fifth team foul. The fifth team foul on Cambridge. So the one and one will apply. Wetzel will have the bonus attempt. His right hand a one-hander. First one is good. 27 to 23. Centerville in front. One minute, 32 seconds left in the second quarter. The second one-hander by Wetzel. Splits the net. Good. 28 to 23. Centerville on top by five. One minute, 30 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Newhouse across the 10-second line for Cambridge. Or at the right-hand side of Montgomery. The Swigert. Swigert on the right-hand side, out to Newhouse, who shoots from beyond the keyhole high. No good. Rebound by Thompson underneath. Good. Thompson rebounding, putting it up from the left-hand side. 28 to 25. Centerville ahead by three now. Centerville against that full-court press. Rensselaer down the left-hand side of the forecourt. Rensselaer stands there on the left-hand side of the ball, passing back out to Wetzel, to Cox. Cox dribbles over to the middle of the forecourt. Cox has it, dribbles around the horn to the left toward the corner. Cox in the corner, passing into Hamilton. Hamilton can't get a shot away. Passing to Good, who shoots from the left of the keyhole. Short, no good. Rebound by Thompson. Thompson of Cambridge across the 10-second line to Ellsbury. Ellsbury to Newhouse. Newhouse, middle of the forecourt, over to Ellsbury. In the left-hand corner to Swiger. Swiger passing to Thompson, who shoots from the left of the circle. Good. A foul is called on Rensselaer, and the basket counts. Number two on Rensselaer. The second personal on Daryl Rensselaer of Centerville. The score is Centerville 28, Cambridge City 27. And Thompson will have a chance to tie it up at the line. 36 seconds. 36 seconds left in the second quarter. Thompson of Cambridge chose the line on one shot. His basket was good. He makes it good, tying it up. A brand new ball game as Cambridge has come from behind to tie it up 28 to 28. Centerville on the attack. Rensselaer across the 10-second line. Rensselaer over the right-hand side to Cox. Cox out through the foul circle of Wetzel. Wetzel dribbles in under for driving layup. Block beautifully. No good. And then in the battle for the rebound underneath, a foul is called on Good. Holding on Jim Good. That's his third personal. The third personal on Jim Good of Centerville. Coming with 25 seconds left in the second quarter. That's the seventh team foul on Centerville. Swigert will be up at the foul line. Ronnie Kinder is coming in for Good. Good with three personals is leaving the ball game. Replaced by Ronnie Kinder in the Centerville lineup. Bowler also coming in. Going out is Thompson. Jerry Thompson with three personals also is being taken out by Dwight Dolman, his coach. Dolman putting in Ray Moeller. Moeller, 5'11", junior, 157-pounder, replacing Thompson. Swigert will be at the line for Cambridge. Swigert on the one-and-one. One-hander good. Putting Cambridge out in front. Cambridge City, 29, Centerville, 28, and that's the first time Cambridge has taken the lead in the ball game with 25 seconds left in the second quarter. The second shot, also good. Swiger puts his second one through. Cambridge City, 30, Centerville, 28. The full court press. Now the ball is thrown down to Hamilton underneath who lays it up all by himself. Good. The full court press allowed Hamilton to be down there all by himself. There wasn't a single Cambridge boy back in there, so a long length of the court pass was good for a tied score. Centerville 30, Cambridge 30. And now Cambridge brings the ball into play. Newhouse has it. Left-hand side of the fourth court to Ellsbury. Back to Newhouse to Ellsbury. In the left-hand corner to Moeller. Moeller shoots from the left-hand corner short. No good. One second left. The rebound taken by Wetzel, and he passes to Cox as the half ends. So at the end of the half, all tied up 30 to 30. Centerville 30, Cambridge City 30. The Cambridge City pressing defense was definitely bothering Centerville. But then the Bulldogs saw an opportunity to get over that pressing defense. They had Hamilton down there all by himself. There wasn't a Cambridge boy back in that half of the court at all. So he took that long pass under the basket and very leisurely put up the layup to tie up the ball game. We have on the floor right now for Cambridge City, Bill Newhouse, Ron Ellsbury, Jerry Thompson, Dwayne Montgomery, and Bill Swigert. For the Centerville Bulldogs, Daryl Rensler, John Cox, Dwayne Hamilton, Ronnie Kinder, and Bud Wetzel. So those are the starters for the two teams as we go back in here. Everybody, the same starters with the exception of Ronnie Kinder. Queen Hamilton, Jerry Thompson. There's the jump ball controlled by the Bulldogs. Ron Kinder with the ball going all the way, going to the baseline, up for the jump shot. It's off the mark, no good. Tipped out of bounds by... Tipped out of bounds underneath by Jerry Thompson. We'll go out underneath the 
basket to Centerville. Here's the pass in to Darrell Rinser. The right-hand side comes around the screen. Up the jump shot. Good. Darrell Rinser now has 104 points in this sectional. He has 12 points for the night. Here's Bill Newhouse now in the offensive zone. The score now is 32 to 30. And Centerville takes the lead here by two points. Seven minutes and 29 seconds to go in the third period. Newhouse off to Bill Swigert. Swigert a nice pass under Jerry Thompson. He's open. Good. Jerry, Jerry Thompson tying the ball game up from a nice pass from Bill Swigert. Here's the off-court press now. 32 to 32 the score. But Wetzel with the ball. Gets it up into the scoring zone for the Centerville Bulldogs. To Ronnie Kinder now to John Cox. Cox in the dribble. Goes by the screen. Shoots over the double screen. It's in the air. Off the mark. No good. Taken it off by Jerry Thompson. No Dwayne Montgomery. Dwayne Montgomry is tied up there by Bud Wetzel. We'll have a jump ball at the 15-foot marker of the Centerville Bulldogs. That's Centerville going to our left. And Cambridge to our right. There's the jump taken by Phil Newhouse, the Cambridge Wampus Cats. Newhouse brings it down into the zone now, the scoring zone. Newhouse still in the dribble. Centerville collapsing in the zone. Bud Wetzel out to guard Ron Ellsbury, but the other man dropping back. Ellsbury in the dribble, passes down into Bill Swigert, the left-hand corner. Back then to Phil Newhouse. Newhouse passes back to the left side to Bill Swigert. He's covered up. Back to Newhouse. Goes to the line. Passes off to Dwayne Montgomery. Up the shot. It's good! Dwayne Montgomery can be a tough boy when he hits. Makes the score now. Cambridge 34, Centerville 32. As Cambridge goes out in front by two points. There's a pass in now with six minutes and 27 seconds to go. Centerville in possession. John Cox with the ball. Dribbles around the screen to the left-hand side. Can't get through. Pass off to Daryl Ritzler, who will shoot out a left-hand corner. It's in and out. And back in. Good! Darrell Rensler hitting from the left-hand side. Tying this ball game up at 34 to 34. Six minutes and ten seconds remain in the third period. Down the left-hand side now is sophomore Ron Ellsbury. Ellsbury on down in the corner to Bill Swigert. Right back to Jerry Thompson. It goes to the baseline. Covered up by Darrell Rensler. Has to pass back out. Passes back out to Phil Newhouse. Who dribbles and swings it to the right side. Dwayne Montgomery into Bill Swigert. Who dribbles back out now around the foul circle. Here's Jerry Thompson. Shot out of the corner. It's good. Thompson shooting, putting the Wampus Cats out in front by two. The all-court press on again by Cambridge. Five minutes and 43 seconds. There's a long pass down over the head of Darrell Rensler. Johnny Cox do it over the head of Darrell Rensler. Goes out of bounds to Cambridge in the backcourt. Bill Newhouse now brings it up in the scoring zone for the Wampus Cats. To the left to Ron Ellsbury. On down halfway to Bill Swigert. He passes back out to Thompson. who dribbles to the baseline. Up the shot. It's off the mark, but whistles on the play. And a foul is called on Ron Kinder. Ron Kinder committing the first personal in the second half. Going against the Centerville Bulldogs. And Ronnie Kinder has just committed one personal. We'll send to the line, Jerry Thompson. Jerry Thompson on two shots. As Ronnie Kinder got him in the act of shooting. Here's the first shot. It's off the front of the rim. No good. Jerry waits short on that foul shot. Score is Cambridge 36, Centerville 34. Here's a chance to put him out in front by Moore. The shot is off the mark. No good. Take it off underneath by Daryl Rensler. Rensler doing a good shooting job and a good rebounding job. The West goes to the right-hand side. Now to Ron Kinder. Comes to the line up with the jump shot. It's in the air. Short off the mark. No good. Take it off underneath. Bought by Westo, but taken away by Thompson. Jerry Thompson doing a tremendous job on rebounding. Newhouse with the ball now. Coming down into the scoring zone. 36 to 34 the score with Cambridge out in front by two with five minutes and two seconds remaining in the third period. This is the championship game. Everything goes here. A whistle on the play and uh, backing into a block. Called against Ron Kinder. Kinder commits his second personal. With we'll send to the line Jerry Thompson and Centerville calls timeout. The score is Cambridge 36, the Bulldogs 34 with 456 remaining in the third period. Dixon's wholesome soft twist spread has one-third extra vitamins and nutrition. Soft twisting locks into flavor. The secrets in the twisting, they break fresh, wholesome bread. Wholesome bread is guaranteed fresh with a flavor enriched at the mills. So for all your mealtime treats and those between meal sandwiches, it's wholesome bread baked by Dixon's Bakers in Richmond. Thirty-six to thirty-four. Cambridge is out in front by two. Four fifty-six remaining in the third quarter. Less than thirteen minutes to go in this ball game. With four fifty-six to go in the third period, here we have Jerry Thompson at the fifteen-foot marker for the Wampus Cats. The shot is in the air. It's good. Put the Wampus Cats out in front by three now. 
37 to 34 with 456 remaining in the third period. All court press again, going up by the Wampus Cats. Ronnie Kinder in the dribble now, gets it into the scoring zone, goes around the block to the right side, has to pass back to Johnny Cox. Cox in the dribble to the right side of the foul circle, hands off to Kinder who comes around behind, gets the screen from Rexler up for the shot, it's good! Ronnie Kinder heading, putting center field within one, 37 to 36 in favor of Cambridge, 435 to go now. Here's Thompson, wide open, dribbling under, up and good! Jerry Thompson eluded his man. But Cambridge out in front by three again, 39 to 36. The all-court press still in effect by the Columbus Cats. Ronnie Kinder now bringing the ball up across the timeline to the right-hand side. Ball high over his head after he stops the dribble. Hands off to John Cox, who dribbles around the screen. Gets a shot away from the left-hand side. It's off the mark, no good. Tipped up there by Ronnie Kinder and knocked out of bounds. Cambridge will take it out in the backcourt. And Centerville now goes in the all-court press. Ellsbury passes off now to Newhouse. Newhouse to the left-hand side. Gets across the timeline, all right. Passes down to Bill Swagger in the left-hand corner. Swagger goes to the baseline. Off to Jerry Thompson. He'll shoot out of the corner. A long shot. No good. Taken off by Darrell Rensler. 39 to 36 to score. Centerville behind by three points. Three minutes and 46 to go in the third period. Centerville got it up across the timeline. All right, into the scoring zone. Johnny Cox open for the shot. It's good. Johnny Cox pivoting around. Was wide open that time. Bringing him within one again. Centerville... Behind by one, 39 to 38. 329 to go in the third period. Bill Swiger with the ball now in the offensive zone for Cambridge. Passes on into Jerry Thompson, who shoots out of the corner again. Too long. No good. Take it off by Darrell Rensler. Darrell Rensler of the Centerville Bulldogs doing a terrific job here tonight. Rebounding. Passes to Wetzel. Wetzel up across the timeline. Passes back to Darrell Rensler, who comes around the screen. And in the screen, putting up the screen there for Rensler is Bud Wetzel. He was charged into by Bill Swiger. Bill Schweiger committing his first personal in the ball game will send to the line Bud Wetzel for the Bulldog. Wetzel on one shot. His shot is in the air. Goes around the rim. No good. Taken off by Jerry Thompson, and he's doing a good job of rebounding. Thompson clears it to Phil Newhouse now. Three minutes and five seconds remain in the third period as the midcourt press is put on by Centerville. 39 to 38 to score with the Cambridge Wampus Cats ahead by one. Here's Dwayne Montgomery in a shot. It's off the front, up, off the front of the rim. Just barely no good. Dwayne Montgomery charges in to get that ball off the floor in the rebound, and he'll be tied up there. Wayne Hamilton fighting along with Bud Wetzel. Wayne Montgomery really running to get that rebound. Both teams really fighting the rebound, doing a good job of hitting. They hit almost 500 the first half. Centerville did hit 500. There's a jump taken by Darrell Renster. Renster feeds it back now to Wetzel. Wetzel down to John Cox. who goes to the line back to Renster. Renster taking a shot away as he's covered there by Swigert. Back to Wetzel and to Rensler now. Rensler tries to get the screen from Wetzel. Pass the pass to the right-hand side as he's covered up. Johnny Cox with the ball dribbles around the screen to the left side. He can't get a shot away as he's covered up by Swigert. Back out to Dwayne Hamilton's foul line into Ronnie Kinder on into Rensler. Rensler on the right side now near the baseline. Dribbles out. Passes on in. The ball is stolen by Jerry Thompson. Thompson coming down court now. It's up at midcourt by Ron Kinder. Ron Kinder committing his third personal foul. Will stand to the line for the Wampus Cats. Jerry Thompson, Ronnie Kinder, who replaced Jim Good with three personals, now has three personals on himself. And over on the bench is Moore and Smith, the coaches, clapping their hands at Kinder to say, come on. Here's Thompson, shot rolls around, down in and good. 40 to 38 now. Cambridge ahead by two, as Wetzel will take it out for Centerville. We have 2.23 to go in the third period. Johnny Cox with the ball, gets it to Ron Kinder. Kinder in the dribble now, goes across the right-hand side. Now down across the 10-second line, gets it in Dwayne Hamilton. Dwayne Hamilton tries to pass back, but can't get it through. Johnny Cox with the ball now, goes to the foul line. Knocks the ball out of his hands, but picked up by Bud Wetzel, who goes to the right-hand side, in the corner, dribbles underneath the baseline, has to come back out. Pass to Johnny Cox. Cox covered up by Newhouse, can't get a shot away. Hamilton bounces it in to Kinder. Kinder on the hook shot. Off the edge of the basket, no good. Take it off this time by Newhouse, and pass to Swagger. Bill Swagger right back to Phil Newhouse. Newhouse blows up play somewhat now. 40 to 38. The Wampus Couch out in front of by two over Centerville. Newhouse to the left-hand side to Thompson, who does a reverse turnaround jump shot. It's off short. No good. Take it off by Johnny Cox. At the Centerville Bulldogs. He clears out to Weston right back to Cox. Cox bringing it up across the timeline now. Going all the way down halfway to the right side. Loops the pass into Darrell Rensler. He tries to get around. Has to take the jump shot. It's off the rim. No good. Hamilton wide open for jump shot. No good. Take it off by Weston. Weston loses the ball. And he's tied up. Tied up by Ron Ellsbury. Substitution coming back in for the Bulldogs now. Jim Good in for Ron Kinder. Good in, Kinder out. 
Pender has three fouls. Going out, Good has three fouls. Coming back in. Here's the jump ball. Ellsbury and Wetzel. It's controlled at time by Cambridge, and Phil Newhouse takes the ball on the far side. Across the 10-second line now. Phil Newhouse and Ellsbury playing outside. There's a pass down into the right side. And left-hand side. Underneath goes Swagger. Clear underneath the basket. On the dribble pass off to Wayne Montgomery. He's open. Oh, gotcha! Wayne Montgomery hitting again. As Cambridge goes out in front by four now. Their biggest lead for a long, long time. 55 seconds remain in the third period. Here's Johnny Cox on the dribble at the foul line. Can't get a shot away. Pass off to Dwayne Hamilton. He shoots. It's off the front of the rim. No good. Taken off by Jerry Thompson. Thompson coming down a two on two. Thompson going to the baseline. Can't get through. And a jump ball will be called. Jump ball will be called at the foul line of the Wampus Cats between Jerry Thompson and Jim Good. 43 seconds remain in the third period. There's the tip taken by Bud Wetzel. Wetzel is fouled. Wetzel is fouled by Ron Ellsbury. The second foul. It's in the air. Off the mark. No good. Taken off from the far side by Swiger. Swiger is guarded close to the air by Wetzel. As Wetzel now presses Thompson, bringing it up court. Thompson passes off the right side to Dwayne Montgomery. He fakes. Goes around his man. Shoots. Good. Dwayne Montgomery hitting again. Two in a row for Dwayne Montgomery. Puts Cambridge down in front by six points. 44 to 38. 23 seconds, but there's Thompson to go. He shoots no good, taken off by Jim Good. He jumps up and shoots, shot off the rim, no good, taken off by Thompson. Thompson of the Wampus Cats takes it off. 13 seconds to go in the third period. Cambridge 44, Centerville 38. And Thompson's in the dribble now, down in the offensive scoring zone. A loop pass to Ellsbury, goes over his head, out of bounds. Three seconds to go, Wester with the ball. Pass it in, one second in the third period, a long, long throw. Oh, it just about went in. I don't believe it would have counted. Wetzler has 14 in their individual scoring duel. There's a jump taken by Cambridge in the backcourt. Newhouse has it. Newhouse down across the 10-second line, starting the fourth quarter. Cambridge ahead by six points. Down the left-hand side to Swigert. Swigert in the foul circle of Thompson. Thompson dribbles towards the left-hand side, gives to Swigert. Swigert jumps from the left to keyhole. Good. Swigert hitting a jump shot from the left of the foul line. 46 to 38. Cambridge ahead by eight. Centered along the attack against that full-court press. Cox dribbles down, gives to Hamilton. Hamilton pivots to the inner edge of the keyhole, rolls around the rim and out, no good. Cox rebounds, good. Cox rebounding, putting it up from the left-hand side of the backboard. 46 to 40, Cambridge ahead by six. Cambridge on the attack. Ball brought across the 10-second line by Newhouse. Newhouse giving middle of the fourth court to Ellsbury. Down the right-hand side to Swigert. Swigert in the keyhole to Thompson. Thompson loses the ball to Wetzel. Wetzel taking it, giving in the backcourt to Cox of Centerville. Cox down across the 10-second line, middle of forecourt. Cox, middle of forecourt to Wetzel. Wetzel over the right-hand side to Cox. Cox of Centerville dribbles in for the keyhole. Dribbles in on the line, shoots. Rolls around the rim and out, no good, but he is fouled. A holding foul was called on Newhouse. First, the first shot, good. 46 to 41. Cambridge ahead by five now. Cox on his second attempt. He can cut the lead to four. Eyes the basket, the one-hander, good. 46 to 42, Cambridge ahead by four. Swigert in the backcourt to Ellsbury. Ellsbury of Cambridge across the 10-second line. Ellsbury dribbles down the left-hand side. And away from the action, a foul is called on Wetzel. But Wetzel commits his second personal foul as he charged into Thompson. Thompson will have one shot. He eyes the basket, short, no good. Rebound taken by Ellsbury. Ellsbury underneath. Can't get a shot away. Then he does try a pivot. It's blocked no good. Hamilton of Centerville gets the ball. He falls to the floor with it. And the ball is knocked outside by Cambridge. It'll go out to Centerville. Passed in by Wetzel to Rentschler. Rentschler down the right-hand side of the forecourt. Rentschler looks for an open man. Passing into Good. Good pivots from the right of the lane. Off the rim. No good. He pivoted halfway between the circle and the board. Then as Newhouse gets the ball, he travels with it. Traveling called on Newhouse. The ball will go out to Centerville. They'll take it out of their own forecourt. Wetzel will take it out to Rentschler. Rentschler in the left-hand corner. Comes dribbling out through the foul circle. Shoots from the outer edge of the keyhole. Hits the rim short. No good. Rebound fought for. It'll be a jump ball. Thompson was going to jump, but the official calls Montgomery in instead. There's a tip taken by Rentschler of Centerville. Rentschler around the horn to the right. Hook. Good. Rentschler, a big hook shot. Way over in the right-hand corner. The hook going through. 46 to 44. Cambridge ahead by two now. Montgomery in the right-hand corner of the forecourt to Thompson in the lane. Thompson tied up in the circle, and a holding foul is called. This time it's on Jim Good, his fourth personal. 
Five minutes, 52 seconds left in the final quarter. This one looks like it'll go right down to the wire. On the one-and-one, one, Thompson eyes the basket. Hits the rim short. No good. Rebound by Good. Good in the backcourt for Centerville to Cox. Cox brings it down. Centerville two points behind, but with the ball. Cox around the horn to the left. Dribbles into the corner. Passing to Hamilton. Hamilton takes the shot the left of the keyhole. Passing down to Good. Good. Passing out. It gets through Wetzel. Picked up by Newhouse. Newhouse all by himself. Hooks. Good. And he's fouled. He hooked one up and then was fouled. The basket counts, and a foul was called on Wetzel. But Wetzel of Centerville draws his third personal foul. Foul shot high, no good. Rebound by Ellsbury, no good. Ellsbury's rebound high. Rebound taken off by Hamilton of Centerville. Given to Wetzel. Wetzel across the 10-second line to Cox. Cambridge 48, Centerville 44. A shot by Cox from the outer edge. The keyhole short, no good. Rebound by Rensler is good. Darrell Rensler tipping in the rebound from the right-hand side. It counts, and a foul is called on Bill Swigert. Swigert can narrow that gap to one point. The one-hander hits the rim short. No good. Cambridge still ahead by two. And then in the battle for the ball off the board, the fifth personal foul is called on Jim Good. Jim Good draws his fifth personal foul. They're going back in. Ronnie Kinder will be going back in, replacing Jim Good. Of course, Kinder has three personals on him already in the ball game. But he's going back in to replace Good. His first shot count. He'll have the bonus attempt. Now Cambridge 49, Centerville 46. Montgomery fires. Rolls around and off. No good. Rebound by Hamilton of Centerville. Cambridge ahead by three. 49 to 46. Centerville on the attack. Wetzel across the 10-second line. Wetzel to Cox. Cox, middle of fourth court. Cox almost loses the ball to Ellsbury, but gets it away. Passing to Hamilton. Hamilton, the outer edge of the keyhole. Screens. Gets to Cox, who fires. Good. Cox. Shot behind the screen and hit from the outer edge of the keyhole. It's now 49 to 48. Cambridge ahead by one point. Cambridge on the attack. Newhouse, middle of forecourt. Down the right-hand side to Swigert. In the right-hand corner to Montgomery. Montgomery fakes, dribbles, passing out to Newhouse. Down the right-hand side to Montgomery. Back out to Newhouse. Newhouse dribbles down the right-hand side. Hands off to Montgomery. Into Thompson in the pivot. Thompson to the right of the circle. Can't get a shot away. Passing out to Swigert. Swigert out near the middle of forecourt. Handing off to Ellsbury. Ellsbury over the left-hand side. Out the middle, passing down the left-hand side to Swigert. Swigert into Thompson. Thompson, the left of the lane, pivot, short, no good. The rebound comes off, is deflected, knocked outside. It'll go out to Centerville, knocked out by Thompson. Wetzel in the backcourt to Cox. Cox across the 10-second line to Rensler. Rensler shoots from the left of the keyhole, the outer edge, short, no good. Then in the battle for the rebound, a foul is called on Ellsbury. Personal number three on Ellsbury. The first one-hander rolls around and off. No good. Rebound taken off by Swigert. Swigert of Cambridge City in the backcourt to Newhouse. Newhouse down across the 10-second line. Middle of forecourt. Newhouse dribbles down the left-hand side. Passing out middle to Ellsbury. Ellsbury drives right down the lane for a layup. Beautifully blocked by Wetzel. Wetzel blocks it, knocks it outside. And now Cambridge City calls timeout. Play to be resumed. Cambridge to pass the ball in. Newhouse will take it out. Down under the Cambridge basket. 49 to 48. Cambridge are hit by one. Pass in to Ellsbury in the right-hand corner. Ellsbury dribbles out to the middle of the forecourt. Hands off to Swiger. Swiger dribbles around the horn to the right. Gives to Montgomery. Montgomery out in the middle to Thompson. Thompson dribbles over the left-hand side. Gives to Newhouse. Newhouse. Middle of forecourt to Swigert. Swigert dribbles through the foul circle. On the left-hand side, gives to Montgomery. Montgomery hands to Thompson. Thompson back to Ellsbury. Ellsbury hands off to Swigert. Swigert dribbles out through the middle. Swigert comes dribbling into the keyhole, passing back to Ellsbury. Ellsbury out beyond the keyhole, middle of forecourt, giving to Newhouse. Three minutes, five seconds left now. Cambridge playing slowly with that ball. Thompson gets it, but Thompson travels. Thompson takes a pass and then travels. The ball goes out to Centerville. Passed out by Kinder. In to Cox, to Wetzel, to Cox. Cox across the 10-second line. Cox down the right-hand side, shoots from the keyhole, short, off the rim, no good. Rebound taken off by Montgomery. Montgomery of Cambridge in the backcourt to Swigert. Swigert brings it down across the 10-second line. Cambridge with a one-point lead. Two minutes, 35 seconds. A pass underneath Ellsbury, who hooks it up good. Swigert passed that ball underneath Ellsbury, who hooks one up. He was fouled by Wetzel. The basket counts, and the personal is on Bud Wetzel. Number four, the fourth personal of the ball game on Wetzel of Centerville. Right, a sensational sophomore. He makes it good. 52 to 48. Cambridge ahead by four now. 
Cambridge with a full court press against Centerville. Cox brings it up against that press across the 10-second line. Cox down the left-hand side to Rensler. Rensler passing out to Wetzel. Wetzel dribbles down toward the corner. Screams, gives to Cox. Cox dribbles into the keyhole, gives to Kinder. Ronnie Kinder dribbles. Tries to shoot from the foul line. It's blocked. Knocked out of the air into the hands of Thompson. Thompson comes dribbling down across the 10-second line. Thompson dribbles into the left-hand corner of the forecourt. Comes dribbling back out. Two minutes, five seconds. Cambridge with a four-point lead. Newhouse has it. Newhouse is covered up and fouled by Wetzel. Number five. The line. Newhouse will be out there to shoot on the one and one. Two minutes, one second left in the game. The first one good. Cambridge 53, Centerville 48. Cambridge now ahead by five points. It can be a six-point lead if Newhouse makes the second shot to it. Newhouse eyes the basket, takes his time. The one-hander hits the rim short, no good. Rebound by Rensler. Rensler, Centerville, all the way down to Kinder. Kinder at the right of the keyhole, dribbles in the foul circle, shoots the one-hander, rolls off, no good. Rebound taken underneath by Thompson, and he is fouled by Cox. John Cox draws his second personal foul on the one-and-one. One. Cambridge now with a five-point lead, 53-48. to 48. He fires, hits the rim short, no good. Rensler rebounds, gives to Mabe. Mabe across the 10-second line. Mabe drives down the right of the keyhole, has the ball stolen from him by Ellsbury. Ellsbury, the sophomore, stealing the ball, giving to Newhouse. Newhouse is covered up by Cox and fouled. Personal number three on John Cox. Newhouse bounces the ball up and down, takes his time. The one-hander, high, no good. The rebound is tipped outside. And the official's rule was knocked out by Hamilton of Centerville, who was trying to get the rebound. It'll go out to Cambridge and to Swigert. Swigert passing off to Newhouse. Newhouse comes dribbling out the middle of the forecourt. They're going to play a little ball control. Ellsbury driving underneath for a layup. Off the rim, no good. Rebound by Hamilton. Hamilton to Mabe. Mabe dribbles into the foul circle. Tries to get a jump shot away. Blocked, no good. Rexler rebounds, good. Rexler rebounding underneath. And now Centerville with a full court press. 53 to 50. Cambridge ahead by three. One minute, five seconds left in the ball game. Thompson dribbles down the right-hand side of the forecourt. Passing back to Swigert. Swigert dribbles over the left-hand side, gets to Ellsbury. Ellsbury handing back to Thompson. Thompson is covered up by Rensler and fouled by Rensler. Personal number three on Daryl Rensler. Brings that left foot back, the one-hander good. 54, 54 to 50. Cambridge now hit by four. You'll recall in the early part of the ball game, Cambridge was down by as much as 10 points. They came back, tied it up, went ahead, and now they lead with the closing second. The second shot also good by Thompson. 55 to 50. Cambridge ahead by five. Rensler dribbles. Hooks from the right of the keyhole. Off the rim. Short no good. Rebound underneath taken by Newhouse. Newhouse tied up by Ronnie Kinder. Kinder grabs the ball. It'll be a jump ball. Newhouse in the Centerville forecourt. The jump taken by Hamilton. Hamilton of Centerville. The Cox who shoots from the outer edge. The keyhole good. Cox hitting a jump shot. 55 to 52. Cambridge ahead by three. Ball brought up by Ellsbury. Ellsbury covered up by Rensler. Passes to Thompson. And... A foul is called, a blocking foul on Ronnie Kinder. Kinder is called on his fourth personal foul. Only 31 seconds left in the game. Thompson eyes the basket. First one is good. He'll have the bonus attempt. 56 to 52. Cambridge ahead by four. Now Thompson eyes the basket for his bonus shot. Takes his time. The one-hander. Good. 57 to 52. A five-point lead for Cambridge. Cox brings the ball down into the forecourt. Cox dribbles all the way down, hooks to the right-hand side, puts it in, but it will not count. A foul had been called on Newhouse before that. The tender on the one-and-one. One. Kender eyes the basket on the line. The one-hander hits the rim short. No good. Rebound taken by Kender. Passed underneath the wrestler. Knocked out of wrestler's hands. And a foul is called on Bill Swigert. Swigert draws his third personal foul. On the one-and-one. One. The one-hander, good. 57-53. Now it's a four-point margin. Rensler with his second attempt. Only 23 seconds left in the ball game. Rensler gets the ball from the official. Toes the line. Eyes the basket. The one-hander. Good. 57 to 54. Again, Cambridge on top by three. As the full-court press doesn't work this time. As they pass right over the top of it to Montgomery. He lays it up. Good. Schweiger threw that ball the length of the court to Montgomery. who put it up. Rensler dribbles down. Shoots to the left of the key hole for Centerville. Good. Rensler hitting on a jump shot. 10 seconds left. 59 to 56 now. Cambridge leading. Schweiger passing across that full court press to Thompson. Thompson dribbles into the middle of the court. Thompson dribbles over toward the right-hand side 
A foul is called on Ronnie Kinder. Ronnie Kinder of Centerville, called on holding. His fifth personal foul. Timeout for Cambridge City. Two seconds. Two seconds left in the final quarter. The score is Cambridge City 59, Centerville 56. Cambridge out in front by three points. Cambridge has not had any of their boys foul out yet. Two seconds left to play. Cambridge will be at the foul line, and they have a three-point lead. So it would appear that Cambridge will be playing more tourney ball next Saturday up at Newcastle against Muncie Central's Bearcats. On the one-and-one, one, the one-hander good. 60-56, to 56. a four-point lead now for Cambridge. Thompson can make it five if he makes his bonus attempt good. He eyes the basket. Two seconds left in the ball game. Hits the rim short. No good. Hamilton gives to Fudge. Fudge who came in to take the place of the boy who fouled out. Gets the ball away, but the game ends before a shot can be made. Actually, actually Fudge passed to Mave, but no shot was tried. Fudge was too far back to try a shot. He passed to Mave, and before Mave could get the ball away, the game had already ended. 60 to 56. Cambridge winning by a margin of four points in the ball game. Cambridge City, 60. Centerville, 56. So the Wampus Cats have pulled one out by four points. They're setting up the ladders now for the Wampus Cats to tear down the net. And the Wampus Cats carry their first-year coach, Dwight Coleman, off the floor on their shoulders, carrying him down now to the basket where they'll have him help cut down the net. The Wampus Cats carry Dwight Coleman down there under the basket. Put him down on the ladder, and he'll, of course, help cut down the net as a result of the sectional tournament win. Dwight Tolman, in his first year as coach at Cambridge City, will be going back to his old hunt. Tolman played ball for Newcastle High School when he was a high school boy, and now he'll be leading, in his first year of high school coaching, his high school ball club back there to play in his old hometown. I imagine Tolman will have quite a kick out of that. Chuck's figuring up the individual scoring. Bill? Simply out of this world. That's what you'll be saying after you eat a big... Here's the scoring now for Centerville tonight. I was Daryl Rensler with 23. Ron Kinder got two points. Jim Good, two. Dwayne Hamilton had two points. Bud Wetzel, 11. John Cox got 16 tonight. So that's the scoring for Centerville. We'll take a look at the scoring for Cambridge in just a minute. I had 27 for Jerry Thompson tonight. Bill Swigert got eight. Dwayne Montgomery got 13 tonight. Phil Newhouse, three. And Ron Ellsbury got nine. So is Jerry Thompson high for Cambridge, 27. 